Hello hi Mandy, and in this video I will test this 6 volts 12 volts car battery charger bought from Lidl. I think a car battery charger is a tool that every driver has to have it in his toolbox. This is the 6 volts and 12 volts car and motorcycle battery charger ULGD 5.0A1 made by Ultimate Speed and bought from Lidl. This car battery charger I borrowed from my friend, he already used it, so I won't spend a lot of time with the unboxing. The cardboard size is about 260 mm by 160 mm by 60 mm, like a big book. Let's examine the informations from the box. Car battery charger ULGD 5.0A1, I assume the meaning of 5.0A1 is 5.0 amps. You can use for all 6 volts or 12 volts car and motorcycle batteries with 1.2 to 120 amps. If you have a 24 volts battery in your car, then this model is not suitable for your battery. Has reverse polarity short circuit and overload protection. The charger is controlled by a full logic intelligent regulation technology processor. The car battery charger came with three year warranty. In the back of the box we have more informations. Four programs for optimal adaptation to battery type. LCD display for charging programs, voltage value and charge status. Pulse charge to recharge flat batteries for an existing available battery voltage of greater than 7.5 volts. Winter charging mode for low outside temperature, only for 12 volts battery. Like it says in the front of the box, has reverse polarity, short circuit and overload protection. Long term connection for optimal charge retention without sulfate formation. LEDs for polarity error warning and standby mode. The AC cable length is about 200 cm and the charging cable length is about 195 cm. The operating voltage range is between 220 volts and 240 volts and the charging current max, 5 amps. On the box we have a charging principle illustration for program 3. 14.4 volts with 5.0 amps. The product code is IAN296069 ULGD 5.0A1 and the EAN code is 401964106245 The car battery charger is manufactured in China. Before you using this car battery charger please read the user manual. Let's take a look over the charger before testing. Please remove the LCD protector foil, otherwise it will be difficult to use the charger. The plastic quality is good, has rounded edges. Both cables feels good in my hand. The AC plug has only two pins, the plug has not of grounding. That grey material is a sealing material, is flexible like the rubber. The legs are from plastic, the screw heads are in triangle and it is rated IP65. In my personal opinion the charging clamps are not enough insulated, I would prefer more covering plastic. The charging cables are from copper, that is a good thing, but the copper cable is spot welded to the clamps and that is not the best way. The clamp spring are pretty tight. And now let's test it the charger. This battery has not been used about 2 months. So it will be a good test subject, if you look closely, you can see a little bit of corrosion on the terminals. First I will clean with a dry paper towel. After that I clean the terminals with WD-40 spray. If the terminals are corroded, then the charging process will take a longer time. So don't be lazy, clean it well. First I will measure with multimeter the voltage. The voltage is 12.31 volts. I will put the charging clamps, the red is the positive and the black is the negative. 
The charger is not connected to the AC power and the display doesn't show anything. Now I will connect to the AC power. Unfortunately my phone doesn't focus well on the LCD display, the LCD display has a neon blue backlight. The charger shows the battery voltage 12.40 volts, pretty close to my multimeter 12.31 volts. I press the program selection button, the first program is for 12 volts motorcycle battery. The second is for 12 volts car battery and I will select the third program the winter program and the battery is charging. I will leave it overnight and I will check out tomorrow morning. The battery was fully charged overnight. Now the battery doesn't blink and I have 4 bars. I can't test all of the functions that this battery charger has, but I will try some functions. Reverse polarity test, I put the black clamp on the positive terminal and the red clamp on the negative terminal. The charger is unplugged. On the charger I can see the red error LED is on. This function is working. I won't connect the charger to the AC power, I just don't want to broke the charger intentionally. I will test the charger if it still work and I will measure the voltage with my multimeter. When the charger is plugged in the AC power, the charger automatically starting in multimeter mode. It shows the voltage, but it won't charge the battery, for start charging the battery, you have to select one of the charging programs. Everything looks good so far. Short circuit test. If you remove the clamps, the charger will go in multimeter mode. And you have to select a program to charging again. It passed the short circuit test too. The charger is charging the battery. Let's test what happens in case of power blackout, after the power is restored the charging will continue or not. I will switch off the power and then after a couple seconds I switch on the power. And after the blackout the charger is going in multimeter mode. I can't test the overload protection. Because I don't have a 6 volts battery, I can't test the 6 volts battery charging mode. From the front of the package is missing a very important information. If the voltage is below 3.8 volts or above 15 volts, the battery will not be charged. The display briefly shows the error message. The appliance goes on standby. In my opinion this product would be a better product if, the AC plug would have grounding. In the top of the charger would be welcome the 4 program charging mode chart. The charging clamps would have more surface insulated. The charging clamps would have a mechanical joints instead of spot welding. The legs would be made from rubber, to not slide on plain surface. Overall this product, has a decent quality for home users, there is room for improvements, but it is decent. I hope I covered the most important features of this charger, feel free to comment if I miss something. Thanks for watching, don't forget to, share, comment, like, and subscribe. See you next time, goodbye.